Hello there, welcome to Plague for Plague's Sake, a series of videos where I use perfumery to take a look at some of the rather dubious plague cures over uh, history. So today we are going to be looking at a plague cure that was prevalent during the Spanish flu again. Um, this time it was a South African plague cure um, where they used camphor blocks so blocks of waxy sort of substance from a camphor tree, um, which is then worn around the neck in order to ward off the plague, well, the flu. Um, so I am going to uh, make an interpretation of the camphor block using some of the perfumery materials at my disposal, as ever. Um, so for this particular plague cure, we are going to need a vial with a cork top, that's a 5ml vial, some sweet almond oil, a necklace chain, a screw hook and camphor essential oil. So it is the camphor that we're going to be sort of shining a bit of spotlight on today as this is essentially what drives the plague to extinction. Um, so in South Africa, if um, sort of medicinal sort of remedies didn't work so well for warding off the Spanish flu, they um, did sort of look at folk remedies. Uh, and one of those was wearing camphor about your person. Um, so today we're going to be sort of doing a variation of that, where we're going to be making a um, necklace which you can wear which contains camphor essential oil. So camphor tree is a large tree, evergreen tree um, found in Asia and um, this particular uh, vial is uh, derived from China. Um, it is used um, somewhat in sort of herbal medicines anyway, it's got a bit of a medicinal sort of scent to it, quite a clean sort of fresh uplifting scent but it has definitely got some undertones of uh, medicinal properties. You can sort of tell that it's, uh, it's used for that kind of um, medicinal purpose. And what we're going to do is we are simply going to add um, camphor to this bottle uh, along with some sweet almond oil in order to dilute it. And then that would be warm around the neck. Um, so, first thing to do is to take the vial and take the, the corked lid off and then screw the um, screw hook into the cork. Of course, attaching the necklace to this has already been attached. And then we're going to take the vial and add 5 ml of sweet almond oil. So sweet almond oil doesn't have much of a scent to it, if any, um, and that's why, why it's useful for carrying other scents to the skin in perfumery. You can use any um, carrier oil that you like really, but um, I like to use the unscented sweet almond. But then we're going to add just two drops of camphor oil. It's a very potent smell as it is. Um, obviously, it will be diluted within the bottle. We don't need any more than two. Two should be fine for warding off the plague. Very sort of clean um, scent emanating through that. I'll pop the lid on and give it a bit of a shake. And just make sure that that's on nice and tight. And there you have it. That is a interpretation of the camphor bag, which was uh, worn in South Africa for uh, warding off the Spanish flu. And um, there you have it, another one in the bag. Hopefully you've got quite the arsenal now to help start stave off the plague. But I'll see you next week for some more fun.